Hi, I'm Michael Fagan, the fitness guru, and this is A Healthy Pause. The other day I was reading an article in the New York Times Magazine titled, Is Sugar Toxic? And I was reading this article and I thought I could do a piece on this, but it's, it's really not all that involving and it's nothing that you haven't heard before. Sugar's bad, sugar's evil, sugar's the demon. But there was one little thing that caught my attention, and that was in the early 80s, a lot of companies were switching from the use of sugar to high fructose corn syrup. Now, I also saw this brilliant video, 40-second video, about the obesity epidemic in the United States and how obesity has swept through the United States in the last 25 years. Now, we all know the numbers are outrageous. Seven out of 10 adults are overweight or obese. The numbers in children are growing at an alarming rate. And most people that I meet on a daily basis, losing weight is one of their top two or three issues in terms of living a healthy lifestyle. So I thought, here's something we can discuss. Where's the sugar in your diet? How much sugar do you have in your diet? And if you get the sugar out of your diet, will you lose weight? The answer is yes. The fact is that sugar is addictive. It's a drug. It's something that we consume. It's something that we consume. And a lot of the times, we're not even aware of the fact that we're consuming it. And it's not a question of calories, people. It's not a question of keeping your calories in check. It's the fact that biochemically, sugar is going to affect you a certain way so that you pack on extra pounds. So what are you going to do to lose weight? Well, the first thing you want to try and do is check your sugar intake and start to limit it. Start to limit it and start to move it back so that you're not taking in as much. Now, I know some of you are thinking, it's not me. I'm not addicted to sugar. All right, but I would tell you that if, if you came and I locked you away on a little desert island for two or three days and removed all the sugar from, the dot, from your diet, you'd become angry, cranky, uh, irritable, sleepy. Um, all these things that you'd be suffering from the withdrawal from sugar. So if you don't think you're addicted to sugar, you really got to take a good hard look at it, especially if you've got extra pounds you want to lose. How do you know if you're addicted to sugar? Well, first and foremost, you've got to keep track of the sugar that you consume. You have got to write it down. Keep a journal. If you don't write it down, it doesn't exist. So many people that I talk to time and time again will tell me, yeah, they eat healthy, they eat very healthy. So I'll say, keep a food journal. Exact times you're eating, exact foods you're eating, the amounts that you're eating. And time and time again, those, those journals will come back. And sure enough, there is sugar from the very start of the day to the very end of the day. I went to one of my favorite resources, the Fitness Guru Facebook page, and I said, what are you guys eating for breakfast? Sure enough, the people who responded were the people who take great pride in what they're eating for breakfast. And, and what I was finding was that these breakfasts were high in fiber, they had protein, there were fruits, there were vegetables, there were a lot of healthy things. There weren't a lot of Pop-Tarts, there weren't a lot of Frosted Flakes, there weren't a lot of, you know, grab a cup of coffee and run. There was one, but I know who you are. Um, so people are eating these healthy, well-rounded breakfasts, and what happens is, their sugar level remains constant throughout the day. There are not a lot of highs, there are not a lot of lows. There's not a lot of crankiness and irritability. They have a nice energy level throughout the day, so write it down. The next thing you want to do is go online and search out a, a term, glycemic index. The glycemic index tells you for all sp sorts of specific foods exactly how that food breaks down into sugar in your system. The higher the glycemic index, the closer to 100, which is high as you can get, the more sugar that that contains. For example, a banana has a glycemic index of 52, relatively high compared to an apple that has a glycemic index of 38, which is even higher than a grapefruit, which has a glycemic index of 29. So in other words, if you're starting your day with a grapefruit, you're getting all sorts of great vitamins into your system. You're getting something very healthy, but you're not getting this big jolt of sugar into your system all of a sudden. You can keep your sugar level constant throughout the day. If you keep the sugar level constant throughout the day, you're going to find the pounds come off. I have a client. Let's call him Ed. For ages, he wouldn't check his glycemic index. He wouldn't check his sugar intake. He worked out like a dog, but he couldn't take off the extra pounds. As soon as we started checking his sugar levels and removing certain glaring evidence of his sugar, the breads, the pastas, the popcorn, all of a sudden, pounds started coming off of him. He did nothing else differently except change his diet that way. Now, changing his diet was difficult because he really wanted those things, because it's an addiction. Sugar is an addiction. You're going to crave those sweet things. Your body wants them. And like any addiction, it's going to take you time to wean away from them. If you're used to having a very, very sugary breakfast cereal in the morning, don't just take that breakfast cereal away. That's going to be really tough. You're going to be cranky, angry. Within two or three days, you're going to hate my guts. And I don't need that guilt. All right? But instead, find yourself a non-sugary cereal. Find yourself something with a very, very, very low sugar content. 
add your own sugar. Take one tablespoon of sugar and just sprinkle it on that breakfast cereal. Then next week, sprinkle half of a teaspoon of sugar on that cereal. And slowly, 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 you're going to start to wean yourself away from needing the sugar in the morning. As soon as you wean yourself away from that sugar, guaranteed, those extra pounds are going to start to come off. Yes, there are other factors. There are so many other things that you can be doing. But time and time again, sugar is the one that nobody looks at. I have people come in and they sit down, and there are two things that they all have in common. One, they're so unaware of the hidden sugar in their diet, and two, they all use the word but. I say, you're going to have to remove this, this, and this, and they'll look at me and go, but? If you're going to say but, that's fine, but understand what it's doing to you. You can't complain about the other weight if this is what you're giving your body. If you want to live the healthy lifestyle, awesome. Live the healthy lifestyle, but know what you're eating. Keep the journal, learn about the glycemic index, and try and stick to it. Wean yourself away from it. Don't go cold turkey. If you're somebody who can go cold turkey, go whole hog, awesome. Do it. But if you're somebody who needs to slowly break away from it, slowly break away. If you have ice cream every night after dinner, you take that ice cream away, you're going to be one angry animal. Have half as much. The next week, have half as much every other day. The week after that, have half that much. And keep going until eventually you can wean yourself from it. The benefits in terms of your emotional well-being, your physical well-being, your energy levels, your mood, your ability to focus will change 100-fold. I guarantee that. But you've got to become aware of it. You've got to become aware of what you're putting into your body and how that affects you. Now, if you have any other ideas for how you can get that sugar out of your system or have great alternatives to sugar, shoot me an email at Michael at fitnessgurunyc.com. I'm Michael Fagan, The Fitness Guru. This has been a healthy pause. Come back and check in with us again real soon.